Shine, how does it feel just to look around and see, you know, Zarya on one side, Ventura on the other side, you're backing them up, but just the secondary, how do you feel about it? Uh, it feels good knowing that I got, you know, two lockdown corners on either side I'm on, you know, that's going to hold it down, you know, in the lower and media, media areas, you know, I got them over the top, so I tell them that every day. So, you know, I just tell them be aggressive, you know, and just play y'all brand of football because, you know, me, Conrad, Duke, you know, Vontae, as we got them behind us. So, you know, just be y'all, you know, do what you do what got you here to college, you know, tap back into that mode, you know, that, that dog mode, that aggressive mode, and we got you behind. So it's, it's good having guys like that, you know, at corner that, you know, not many passes going to get caught on them. You mentioned Duke. What's it been like having him back? What's, um, I, mean, I think Coach said it. You know, he, he talked to some of you guys before even deciding to have Duke back. What's that been like for you? Uh, it's been great knowing that I came in with Duke and, you know, me, him, and KP, we got that, you know, that close, that close bond. So, you know, it's fun every day being out here with, with him again. You know, I missed him, so, you know, it's great. You got so, so many safeties working in there. Um, what's, you know, what are you seeing out of those guys? And like, what, what, how important was this offseason for those guys in terms of just learning all the assignments? Uh, just the competition, you know, the, the friendly competition is just going to make us better. You know, like you say, we got a lot of depth. And our philosophy and Coach Pat's philosophy is, you know, we want to play a lot of guys. So, the better, you know, and everybody got better during the off-seasons, even like the Conrads, you know, his, his mindset done got better, you know, the Ashlands, uh, KJ Kirkland. So, you know, anytime we get guys like that into the rotation, that's just better for, you know, the guys like us. So we ain't got to play like 80 snaps a game, you know, and it's better for the whole team having fresh guys that know what they're doing out there. Does it change much for you, though, because you've been used to having a team next to you? Have different guys? Is it nah, it, it, it's the same because at the end of the day, I got to trust who next to me. So it, it's the same for me. Um, yeah, it's the same. What's changed about your role since maybe the last two years when you started playing a little bit more? You know, maybe more vocal. I, I guess what's changed for you the last couple of years? Uh, I'd probably say my vocal standpoint. You know, you got coming in, I had, you know, guys that's going into their fifth year, you know, sixth year. Now I'm the old guy. You know, I'm on my fourth year. So it's like, I gotta be vocal. I gotta get make sure my teammates right. Make sure everybody on one page. You know, I probably say just communicating on the field. You know, trying to help people off the field on the sideline. That's probably something that's changed the most. Is that natural for you, or is that something you kind of have to think about about doing before you come into practice? Mm, no, I want to win. So you know, you want to win. You are gonna make sure everything going good. So, and uh, we got a good program. Good guys in the program. Good coaches. So you know, everything easy. It's not nothing. You gotta oh, I gotta do this or something like that. So it come easy things you learn about leadership from guys you play, Akeem, Jamie, guys who aren't here anymore, who kind of you've played alongside of safety? Of course, even people that didn't play um, DB with me, like, you know, the, uh, the Pops, Kier Thomas, you know, the Jermaine Johnsons, you know, you take something from all those guys, great athletes and, you know, you try to put it into your own way, you know, do it your own way. But, of course, all them guys, Keem, especially Jamie, you know, guys like that, they really helped me out. When you guys do, you know, practice like the pursuit drills, which is guys run into certain points. I guess, what do you, what's the goal of those? What, what are you practicing in those drills? Uh, just when the ball break, you know, just pursuing, because that's one of our emphasis as a defense. If you're not running to the ball, you can't make a play. You know, something happened over here, he fumbled. They team running to the ball, but we not. We're not going to get the fumble, you know. You run in, a pass get tipped, you're not running to the ball, you ain't going to be able to catch the tip pass. So it's just, you know, running to the ball and effort. It's really the effort. You know, you got to give all to play for Florida State. So we do that every day. Uh, yeah, o yeah, OG, he, um, what do you have, Eric? Oh, um, he played through it. Yeah, I ain't even know that. Oh, okay, he, he, yeah, he, through injury or whatever he had, he, he didn't, he ain't changed. You know, it probably, he probably just, you know, felt the injury, but, you know, OG don't always look like OG. Um, one thing I can say, his mind done got better. Um, he's always been an athletic linebacker. His, his knowledge for the game has got way better. And then, same thing, I actually, with those different safeties, there's a bunch of linebackers competing up there too. Is that right. anything? Um, no, it actually it's just you know you got to get used to talking to different guys because uh, a lot of them guys gonna play like you know the Cams and DJ Lundy, the Blakes, OG, a lot of um, Juice. So you know you just got to get used to having different guys out there. You know what make them tick. You know what they what's communication and stuff like that. So it, it, it ain't nothing changing with you know personnel. It's just everybody got to be on the same page out there. So. 
watching, you talked about Cam, Cam Riley, watching him in summer program, first, are you impressed how, how well he moved? Now, his first day here, I was impressed. You know, we had seven little player led practice. He's seven on, he out there guarding people. Um, I think he dropped the interception. But you know, I, from that day, I knew he was he was gonna be something special. Well, he is gonna be something special. What have you seen from Tyler Morlock on the other side of the ball? Like, you having to defend him? What does he do well? Um, he's a grown out, like getting in and out of his breaks. You know, his hands done always been you know legit. And I, I can just say, you know, he's starting to get a feel for like defenses from my eyes. You know, where to sit down at. You know, what leverage to attack on the defender. So I say he he he's been showing up and flashing a lot lately. I know coaching staffs are like unlimited now. There's more coaches involved in practice every day. Has anything changed? Is there more instruction on the field or is it meeting rooms? You guys are getting more voices and feedback, I guess. Everything we do is intense. So no matter if it's three coaches out here, like the coaches went on vacation, it was like maybe GAs here, like two GAs, and you know, it was just us and it was intense. So no matter how many coaches out here, you know, we got a standard that we got to uphold as a program. So. Thank you. Thank you.